What time is it? on the water with Frank Hyla. this morning on the uh, Wolf River just in the Fremont Wisconsin area the Wolf River is one of my favorite places it's famous for the big white bass run that happens every spring and then in the fall but there's a lot of good largemouth and smallmouth uh, we just launched our boat right in the Fremont boat ramp and we're gonna fish around Fremont and north today uh, probably get up to Wapaka, Gills Landing some of those places uh, hitting spot and spot and spot there there's just little patches that have fish in them uh, fishing with my nephew Dan Tully, uh, one of my favorite fishing partners, and we're going to uh, hit the water. It's a little foggy this morning. It'll clear up. It's supposed to be a beautiful afternoon, and we're looking forward to a great day. Yeah. Up in that corner. Up in there. All right. Like up by that. There's one. Well, not a giant, but a good way to start, I guess. Ice breaker. Yeah. Oh, come here, dude. Up here on the Wolf River, Fremont. One of my favorite places. Looking for these guys, smallies. Only bigger. Nice. Nice, nice. We should catch a ton of those today. Not that side, you didn't get one there, huh? No. He didn't bite it hard, he just kind of got on it. I got one. Got one? Yeah. Oh, uh, baby, baby, but that's baby. all right. It's cool. Fight's hard. Yeah. Just kind of lift them in here. This wacky style Senko. Oh, you did get them on the Senko, huh? <laughs> yep. The space we're in right now, a lot of times uh, we catch fish here. They're usually not bigger. They seem to kind of spread out by size, but it's always worth a try. More than one. Well, I'm in this corner. Did he hit it harder? Yeah. Because mine just kind of got on it. What we're fishing here is like an outside bend of the river. There's actual a little hole here that right inside here is about six or eight feet deep. And river bends seem to be a big key. We're going to move just about five feet in the waters two feet deep. Oh, there's, there's one little guy. Another one. Oh, oh. not bad. I take him in a tournament. Good size. In the corner of these sloughs, there's a uh, largemouth and smallmouth. Switch it 
<laughs> it's a giant. That's not that big. Well, switched from wacky to Texas, and they're still biting it, so. Small. With the motor on, getting ready to move. Good size. I'll take it. All right, let's head to the next spot. There's one little dude. There's tons of these in here. Went through the wall with a popper, now going back with a tube. Looking for the mama. It's, it's this, right on this wall is like six to eight feet deep. And I think they're suspended right along there. And if they see it dropping through, they grab it. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? I made a long, oh, it's a white bass. I made a long cast just to get a loop out of my line and I was reeling it in as fast as I could and this dude hit. <laughs> Strike first. Yeah, this is, this is what this place is known for. Only a lot bigger. Spring and fall, there's a ton of these. Yeah, I was just reeling in as fast as I could. There's one. Good size. A little bit better. Do you want to net this one? Ready? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. There you go. This is more like what there is here. Dang. I'm getting thrown a little popper right next to the seawall, and there's what hit it. You can come up here in a tournament and get five of these. This dude's all two and a half pounds. Just a beautiful fish and, and, and they'll fire up and they'll be in groups. And, and I love it. Introducing the all new Alda Baron. The next step in the evolution of lightweight compact bait casting reels. Aldebaran features a magnesium frame and CI4 Plus side plate construction that delivers unparalleled strength to weight ratio. X-Ship gear system supports precision gear alignment for durability and delivers an ultra smooth feel during retrieve. The precise adjustability of the SVS Infinity braking system allows you to quickly tune your reel to any fishing condition. Silent Tune and the S3D spool deliver smooth and efficient casting performance. Weighing a mere 4.7 ounces, Aldebaran packs performance and durability in a compact, low-profile design. For more information, visit fish.shimano.com. Our name helping anglers unlock the water's hidden secrets. Hit the switch. It's time to reveal even more. Auto Chart Live gives you the power to build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Because when you know the unknown, you can do the unheard of. Auto Chart Live. Only with Onyx. Only from 
Hummingbird. There's no better way to haul your fishing gear to and from the lake than in a legendary Ram 1500. And you'll find the best quality pricing and service only at the equally legendary Bettenhausen Dodge Ram in Tinley Park. You'll be hooked on the power and efficiency of Ram. Over 10,000 pounds of towing capacity beating to the sound of 395 horses. Let Mike Sorensen and Ram brand manager Steve Anilek prove to you it's better at Bettenhausen. Or shop online at BettenhausenAuto.com. It's better at Bettenhausen. big but a fighter boy he just fought hard I'm gonna net him just in case Dan my run thank you boy he must have had me wrapped around he's not a bad fish but I thought he was even bigger look it just popped out nice I mean, a solid two pounder just was on it. Thump. Here we go, little guy. Just a little one. There's a ton of them this size in the river. Oh, there we go. Hold on, dude. <laughs> There's a little fish if you want to see him. He's a, he's a tricky little sucker. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm gonna move on. We'll got one. Uh, yeah, you do. Wrapped oh, around. He's wrapped around. Well, just keep pulling. There you go. You gotta keep pulling. How big? Oh, we need a net, huh? Hold on. Hold on. There you go, Dan. There he is. <laughs> Dropping stuff. All right. Show Quick the camera. One. We've had a few bites there. Finally, one hold on. Yep. Went with the smaller Senko. That's why we're here. I mean, look how not beautiful this water is. Rocks and grass, go ahead. Hold on, wait, we'll just wait. Okay, go ahead. All right, my turn. There he is. Ooh, it's a nice one, get the net, Dan. There's always a nice fish up against these seawalls in this area. Oh, I got some grass on them. Good, that'll settle them down. Here, here. Let me get them. 
All right, settle down, dude. That's the river system like this with the backwaters are going to be either largemouth or smallmouth. And I'll show you this fish in a minute. Well, he was hooked good. Nice little largey. Probably just barely a keeper, but there's bigger ones in here. Flip her in. Good job. Get on the tube. Don't swear. What are you doing? Eh, just a little 13, 14 incher. This one wasn't on the wall, it was out on the rock pile. The wall we're fishing actually has a little ditch and a hole. Just a little dude. And usually the fish are either on the wall or, or out on the rocks. That one was out on the rocks. Uh, this is usually a really good spot and hasn't been today. This is the second time we're trying it, so I decided to try out a little deeper and Boom, got one. Another one? That's all right, don't swear. There you go. It's not a bad one. That's three fish in a short time. Oh. All right, cool, Dan. Not bad. We tried beating it senseless, bending it in half, and punishing it with extreme temps, corrosive salt water, and blistering UV rays. And all Talon did was ask for more. So we wanted to know what Talon's breaking point really was. We'll let you know if we ever find it. Talon, born tough, tested tougher. The best braided line just got even better. Introducing Max Quattro by PowerPro. Utilizing the latest Spectra 4 carrier fiber technology, the new Max Quattro braided performance lines are engineered to be 25% thinner. With the same durability and strength you've come to expect from PowerPro. Achieve longer casting distance, greater accuracy, and improved lure movement with even better, softer, and suppler feel. Increase line capacity on any reel. Add versatility to get the competitive edge when you need it most. Power Pro Max Quattro cuts through water and thick cover better than ever. From salt water to freshwater, Power Pro Max Quattro performs without compromise. Available in proven moss green and high vis yellow in 50, 65, 80, and 100 pound strengths. For more information, visit powerpro.com. Well, it's day two, morning two of our uh, Wolf River excursion. Again, I'm out with my nephew, Dan Tully. Uh, this time we're gonna fish, the, again, the wolf, but a whole different section. Uh, we're gonna be going down to the Orahula Boom Bay area, right where Lake Poygan and Butamore and Winnicani dump in. Uh, different looking fishing, but still great fishing, a lot of largemouth and smallmouth. 
In fact, a lot of fish of every species. There's walleye and white bass, everything here. Uh, so we're going to fish a little bit different things. We're going to fish, I think, at the mouth of the Rat River a little bit. And also the Boom Bay Cut and hope to get some largemouth and smallmouth here as well. Here's one. Want to get the net, Dan? Well, I guess first cast isn't bad. And these smallies seem to travel in packs. And if you can find one. All right. Settle down, dude. I don't want to get hooked. There we go. First cast of the day. Threw a little popper up near a seawall. And there's miles and miles and miles and miles of seawalls here. But some of them have a little deeper water. And that's kind of what you got to look for. And there's fish like that there. Boy, is that beautiful. <laughs> well, I want to see if there's two. All right, we'll go to the end of this seawall and then we're going to continue our journey. Fish? I'll just flip that one in, dude. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. Or is it a dog? Go over there. Yeah, well, you're getting it. What do I got to go over there for? <laughs> Not Are we going to make it easy for you? Not. I don't know where the net is. Right here. It's a dog. You don't want to touch that one, Dan. Take your pliers and get the hook out of its mouth. It's a frog and a dog. <laughs> there you go. Good again, Frankie. Fish? Yeah. Good one? A little uh, flipper in her. All right, come on, bring them in. Keep coming. There you go, Dan. Nice job. Yeah, we've had a couple bites here, and one finally committed. Yeah. I don't know if that's a guy that's been swarming us, but I think there's more than one here. One little dude. You can just keep going, Dan. I'll I'll make this a drive-by. On our way to the next spot. We're actually idling, and I'm just casting around some of these seawalls. Got this little baby. Hopefully, we'll get Grandma. All right. Want to net him, Dan? I was actually moving away, and this dude was swimming away with it. I don't want to stress, just because I, uh, I was pulling my line next to that. There we go. Nice Fremont fish. Just hitting a seawall. I was actually heading on down the line, and this dude picked it up. Beautiful. That's about an average fish here on this Wolf River system. Just beautiful. All right. So I'm hoping we've had some overcast and sun and overcast and sun and overcast and usually on these seawalls you can catch them just about any time because they're down there. So we had tried some new stuff this morning, tried throwing a frog, didn't really do anything. Went back to the bread and butter, throwing the tube on these seawalls and we're coming up to a really nice stretch where I've caught lots of fish in the past. So I'm hoping 
we can find six or seven more here and uh, and go have lunch. Skipping my tube under there. See if he's got a friend. You know, we just caught a, a nice molly underneath that dock, and usually they travel in packs. They're uh, and it's usually resolves, you know, revolves around food. They'll find a little school of bait or some crayfish or something like that, and there's, you know, there could be one or two, or there could be ten of them together. And so you never want to. Oh, Dan's got one. <laughs> like I said, not far from that last one. And that's what I said. There are quite a few fish in the same area. You just never know. But you catch one, you need to keep trying. Need pliers? Or you got them? Cool. All different size ones here, but that's what I'm saying. You catch one, you gotta keep hitting it because you never know if there's two or three or four or more. more. Whoa! There, there he is. That's what I'm saying. What this spot's got that a lot of them don't have, it's an outside bend. And usually on a river, outside bend, oh, come here, dude. Outside bends are deeper, there's more current, and because of that, there's more bait. I just threw this one up there. Hold on, dude, I'm gonna let you go. Whoop, here he goes, in the water. <laughs> I'd actually worked my, uh, my tube and was just reeling it in, and he came up, followed it up. And there could be that size, there could be bigger, smaller, but that's pretty good to see. Here he is. Not a giant, but a decent fish. This one I think bit twice. All right, well, we're ending our little trip here on the uh, Upper Wolf River. We're in the Fremont area. We've been here for two days, had a great time. As you can see, there's a lot going on here. Uh, a lot of boaters, a lot of people having fun, but a lot of smallmouth and largemouth. Uh, most of the fish were found on these seawalls. We did a good job uh, targeting the right ones. We'll use a lot of tubes, other plastics, some topwater stuff. But in the end of the day, we had a great weekend, caught a lot of fish on the beautiful Wolf River. Really busy late summer weekend, but that didn't stop us from catching them. There's always a place to fish up here. It's one of my favorite places. I can't wait to get back again next year, maybe in the spring, catch those bigger smallies. Thank you.